Well, good morning. Thought I'd uh, give you a little update. I got the uh, LCD, um, the new cover all printed up, and and it came out really nice. I had to modify it just a little bit. The the board's a little different than this one, um, but it's working great. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to have that thing on there. Uh, I'm just doing a little. Well, here, let me start. I also had to remake some clips, and these are just a lot better. I can unscrew it in the back and adjust it. It's come out pretty nice. Uh, different, different button. The other one has a little tiny round button. I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah. Well, last night I started this print last night and uh, got about this far, maybe a little further, and the power went out. And I was just right here filming it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that'd be a good opportunity to show you guys the infill. Um, here's the parts that came off last night. If you look, you can see the outer shell, the outer shell right here, and then in between everything, it's got these hollow spots. I mean, that's it goes all the way down to all the way down to the uh, other outer shell down here where it's solid. And I'm, right now I'm calibrating, just seeing this is support and that when you get done printing it'll print a solid layer on top of it and then you can just break this out it's really easy to break and yeah it seems to be working really really good um, I'm also trying a different layer height I don't know if, God, this is just the wrong camera to do it I guess but um, 0.3 millimeter instead of 0.2 or 0.25 sometimes, but I'm going to try and 0.3. But anyway, the printer's going good. Um, these parts are coming out pretty nice. Um, let's see, what do I still have to do? <clears throat> you can hear a little bit of a, in the Y axis, you can hear it, hear that little bit of a hum. Well, that's on the uh, motor driver there's a little pot that you adjust the current and all you gotta do if you hear that little hum is just tweak the current just a little bit and it'll like match the motor where the motor doesn't hum it just um, runs smooth, real smooth so yeah when this finishes um, and I shut off all the power I'm gonna adjust that pot just a C hair. It, it's very, very small increments. Makes a big difference. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging the uh, the new end. It's working really good, and the belt's staying very tight. So it's working excellent. I'm gonna be changing this one over here pretty soon. It's still got the loose belt. I mean, it still prints fine. It still prints fine, but that. That loose belt's just no good for the quality. It just can be so much better. So, anyways, and I never did swap out the boards or the, the ramps, you know, the LCD or nothing. I just decided I'd finish this one and get it working good. And I, I'm digging it. It's it's working perfectly. So that's about it. Um, can't wait to get these parts off and take a look at them. They're uh, printing really good. I'm real happy with it. Just the quality that I've seen so far is really nice. Uh, not perfect, but you know, I'm still tweaking. Get my computer out, and I still have to adjust the uh, steps per millimeter on the extruder. See, every time you hob a bolt for this extruder, you're making it just a little bit different than any other one you know they're they're pretty unique um, so you just do a little tweaking on that the belts the pulleys on the belt they're like a fixed diameter usually if you buy them if you if you print one off it might be a little bit different but not enough to really notice usually um, but it's the hob bolt 
you know, the diameter is so small that if you take off just a little bit more, you end up changing, changing the steps per millimeter of filament. So, yeah, that's what I'm kind of tweaking right now and trying this new layer height and checking out the support. On, I'm using Cura, a program called Cura. And, yeah, just tweaking it little tiny bits. Once you get it working really good, which this one did pretty much straight away, but once you get them working really good, you just do little tiny tweaks and remember what you did, basically, so if something gets worse, then you go back. Um, what's really cool, I got this set up pretty darn close to being dead nuts. You see side to side, it barely turns the the uh, z-axis, so that means it's very level. Um, it's just that little tiny bit of adjustment that it's making, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's about as good as it gets, I think, right there. And it's the automatic bed leveling is doing the turning of the is doing that turning of the coupler there, leveling it out side to side, and it just barely moves from one side of the build plate to the other. So that means it's it's very very level which is awesome front and back too um, yeah so that's about it everything's going good belts are tight <laughs> and uh, it's quiet but once I once I adjust that motor driver it should be a lot better get rid of that little bit of hum and hope the power stays on so I can finish this print. It'd be nice. <laughs> Talk to you later.